ericmothethmother.com for January 4th, 2018. Let's take a look at the price for Bitcoin. I want to show you two things that are playing out on the daily chart. Number one, there is a possibility, depending on how this goes in the next couple of days, if Bitcoin moves below RSI 50, expect a big down day. So right now the RSI is at about 50.51, but expect any drop below 50 to expand the current movement and actually record a big down day. So watch that in case it drops below RSI 50 for a big drop. Now there's two things, as I mentioned. First is let's go to why it has been holding steady. Now I discussed this with subscribers the other day based on this entry here. This is where we see that it moved out of this range and went higher. So we can use our uniformity principle anytime it bounces on this line. Expect there to be a recovery, just like it did here for that recovery. Over the last couple of days, we've come and found support on that level there, which is coinciding with those lows. So in terms of support, as long as this line is holding, we can expect Bitcoin to be stable to bullish. Now let me show you another view, which is the exact opposite. Now there's a line connecting RSI lows. If we do it like that, and what this line gives us, it gives us the lows based on the lows here, here, and then we get a break of that line, which was here, coinciding with that drop we get uniform activity rejection on that line where it goes above it and back below it for those highs. And now we've come back and hit that same line. In other words, we have back test failure. So we can see short term looks like as long as the red line is offering resistance, short term, we can expect this to be putting downside pressure on Bitcoin. And especially if it goes on to crack below the daily RSI 50 level, expect there to be a big down day. So in summary, the way I look at this is, so there's two things. Either we continue finding support here and we move higher, all right? At the same time, if we fail to hold this line, if we crack below this line at some point, that's gonna be for a major sell signal and we would expect much, much lower prices. And at the same time, short term, the challenge is for Bitcoin to move above this previous break line. Failure to move above this line suggests that for now we can still expect this market to be sideways to down. If Bitcoin is to see a substantial increase in price from current levels, it needs to move above the red line. Failure to move above the red line, as we have established, means that we can expect lower prices. So, in summary, one more time, if Bitcoin is to move higher, needs to clear that line. Otherwise, it is poised to eventually drop. If Bitcoin is to do well, it needs to continue holding above the blue line. Otherwise, failure to hold above the blue line suggests that a future break below this line is going to be a fresh sell signal. Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.